Today, I'll be bringing you footage from the famous Jalangaya night market in Kota Kinabalu. This video combines scenes from the night market over two nights and I'll be doing a lot of exploring and eating. Join me on this night market special edition and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Hussmeister adventures. Good evening everybody, I'm in front of Jalan Gaya, which is in the heart of Kota Kinabalu. Right behind me there's a massive street festival or a night market happening tonight. It's Friday night, uh, there's a lot of food vendors out there. At the end of this street there's also a band. It's starting to pick up, it's about 5, 5.30 now. So I'd say within an hour or so this place will be pretty busy. Um, I'm going to dive right in and try and get something to eat and see if we can talk to a few people. There's some few people waving already so people are friendly. Uh, I'm going in there. I'm still feeling a little bit sick although I'm getting a bit better. I've taken some medication today so I'm a little bit better but I think if I eat some food I'll be even better. Let's go get some yummy Kota Kinabalu food or Sabah food. Alrighty I'm diving right in and getting a chocolate chocolate milk with ice cream okay very good mixed with ice cream all right digging into the chocolate milkshake wow he said no sugar but I think it does have sugar but that's all right very tasty though it's getting hot now it's, it's pretty humid out here there's a car trying to get through, not sure why. But this also has a dollop of ice cream in there as well. It's refreshing, it's good. <laughs> More people saying hello. This is just the start guys. It's a little something to get the appetite going. We're going to do a lot of eating tonight. But at least I'm saying that for now. I'll probably have one or two things and I'll be full. My first impressions are good. Plenty of food stalls with a lot of variety and people are here to eat. All the stores are looking busy. There was even a Mini Cooper car which I wasn't expecting to see. Alrighty, I've just spoken to a few of the guys in front of me uh, who are officials at the event today and they've said that they're celebrating something similar to a lantern festival but there's an extra point of relevance this year because this is the first one they're having post-COVID. So there's a lot of people here on Jalangaya. There's a stage right behind me over there. I'll get a close-up of that later. They haven't started yet, they're just warming up. So everyone's in a pretty festive mood and we're quite lucky to be here to capture this. And I'm gonna try and bring as much of it as I can to you, including the food, the celebrations and anything else I managed to cover. Okay, tonight will be a festival of lights, music and food happening right here, which is called Lampu Palooza. So to all our guests, especially, hi, hi sir, hello. Where are you from, sir? Hi, I'm from Australia. Australia, good day, sir. Welcome, Welcome down to Sabah. How's, How's the weather? weather? How's the weather, the weather sir? The weather in Australia is hot, but it's better here. Oh, so, <laughs> so it's better here. So, hope, hope you enjoy your stay right here in Sabah. Thank you for coming down, sir. And bagi anda yang baru sampai sekali lagi, especially to some foreign friends I met just now. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. Managed to get on the microphone as well. Still a little bit quiet up there though, so I'm going to head back towards the food stores, see what else we can eat, and then I'll go back down there when the action starts. Guess what? I couldn't resist. Jackfruit. Five ringgit. It's like my go-to fruit. Hm. I've never had a red velvet donut before. I think it's time. 
So two ringgit for one. Red velvet donut. Very velvety. It's not icing sugar. It's some other kind of sugar there. Don't know what it is, but it's very subtle. Very nice. Two ringgit for one. It's very light. I could eat another one. But I won't. There's many other things to try. The evening laser show was started and lights are beamed onto the Sabah Tourism Board building. The big stage is also very impressive. All the big media outlets are here to capture the event and the crowd now has started to pick up. It's getting busy. I look around at the lights projecting all around the buildings near the stage. What a great atmosphere. These guys have done a great job. While the entertainment is starting, the restaurants on Jalangaya are busy as per usual. Alrighty, I've done one full lap. Look at the difference now compared to the earlier time when I was filming in the same position. It is absolutely jam-packed. It feels like all of Kota Kinabalu is here. All of the stores are busy making money and cooking food. So it's great business for everyone. I'm gonna go back in there and do another lap. It's getting harder because it's very, very uh, busy in there, but I'll survive. There's my friend there. <laughs> I'll survive. Let's see how we go, part two. Locals get creative by picnicking at either ends of Jalangaya to avoid the crowds and to get the best seat to watch the street entertainment. traditional sabak dress worn by the night market hosts with the intricate details are also appealing to all of the guests. stations that have been set up around the city here tonight and these different stations have got different events like behind me there's cultural dances in front of me there's another strip of uh, food trucks I'll walk you down there now and show you and then over across the road uh, tents so there's a series of tents there with food as well it's mostly food but behind me is where there's a mini stage and then there's um, performers and, and people dressed up in uh, traditional gear. I'm gonna go down and I'll show you guys the food trucks now. Food trucks are positioned near the city hall adjacent to Jalangaya and also attract a lot of attention. Thank you. 
I found one of my favourite grilled cheese pastry with chicken. It's called murtabak. Uh, I love this. I had it in um, Singapore and obviously Malaysia. Now I'm in Malaysia and I'm having it again. It's awesome. Say hello. 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 Australia. Yeah, welcome to Sabah, Malaysia. Fried chicken, sir. Fried chicken. Yeah. Better than Kentucky? Yep. <laughs> What's it called? What's your store called? Slow. What's the shop called? Uh, Net Market. Net Market. Yeah. Where are Net we in Jalan Gaya? Yes, Jalan Gaya. This Best one, the Api Api Net Market, the name. Best fried chicken here? Yeah. Tell everyone, best fried chicken in Kentucky. Best fried Kentucky. chicken. Terima <laughs> kasih. Welcome, sir. Sama sama. <laughs> All right, this is the only place I can find to eat this. It's so hot, my hands are burning, but smells good. <sighs> Cheese and chicken. Amazing. Ah, my hands are burning, but it's well worth it. The guys make a very good murtabak. Excellent. There it is, crispy on top. Soft in the middle, really nice. They've done a great job. Right guys, I've just finished up at the Klias River Cruise and now I'm back for the second night here at the uh, Jalangaya Night Market. Look, the cruise was fantastic. Uh, it takes two hours to get up there, two hours to come back. The cruise goes for about an hour and a half, inclusive of the, the fireflies as well, which unfortunately I, I couldn't get because it was just too dark. So unfortunately I don't have that on video, but I will try and explain it to you as much as I can. And it, look, it just looks like a, a lit up Christmas tree with little subtle lights. And the lights are actual beetles, they're not flies. So they're actually little beetles and they exert some kind of uh, light from the abdomen. And they're, um, the real bright ones are males. 
But anyway, talking about brightness, look behind me, it's very bright. So I'm gonna dive in, get something to eat, of course. It's about 10 o'clock now and it's still jam-packed. Let's go. Your life's never complete without a Milo in Asia. You go out, you have a Milo. You go in, you have a Milo. It's like the best drink. I don't even drink it in Australia, but in Asia, I love it. It just tastes so much better here. Finished. I just realized I haven't eaten fruit today, so. Papaya. I was lucky to get like the last tray of papaya for two ringgit. Papaya and jackfruit, gotta be the best inventions. The crowd's starting to die down now. The stage behind me is closed. I think it's probably in its last hour or two. So I've got to get in there and eat as much as I can. But this is great vitamin C. I just can't go buy this. I didn't have any vitamin C today. Still feeling a bit nasally, but a bit better today. Everyone's coughing. Apparently it's flu season here. So I must have caught a cold. All right, let's go back in. Oh, did I tell you there's no bins? There's no bins anywhere. You just gotta carry your rubbish around with you. I feel like I'm in Taiwan again with no bins. <laughs> Five pieces for six ringgit. Chicken dim sum. Not bad. It's about two dollars Australian for five pieces. I can still keep eating. I'm still hungry for some reason. This place is absolutely packed. Like, you go left, someone's there. You turn right, someone's there. It's just so busy. There's people coming from every side. I reckon there's about easy, probably about 10,000 people on this road at the moment. It's crazy. Anyway, the quest goes on. Let's keep eating. I'm contemplating on going back to the hotel, but I know that I may never ever experience this ever again. So I'm going to stick around for a bit more, at least another half an hour. Like I said, I just don't want to go back to the hotel and say, ah, oh, I wish I stayed some more. So I'm kicking on. I'm going to stay a bit more. I don't know when I'll be back. So I need to enjoy this a little bit more and eat a bit more. Coconut and sticky rice. Nice. Wrapped in a banana leaf. You can literally just keep eating all night. Going from stall to stall, just eating. I'm enjoying this, I can do this forever.
starting to get hot as well. I'm sweating again. All right, I'll finish this. Tastes really good. Coconut and sticky rice. I've been meaning to have sticky rice ever since I've got here, but just haven't got round to it. Here we are. Tick that one off as well. Two conclusions from this night market. One, this is the biggest and best night market I've ever been to in my life with the biggest variety ever. And two, Malaysia is number one on the food chart. They are the biggest foodies in the world and they've got great food, the biggest variety of food, the most readily accessible food. Everywhere you go they sell food and I don't think any country in the world can beat them. I think Malaysia is number one for food. It's just foodie. It's a foodie heaven. So, if you're into your food, come to Malaysia and come to Sabah, you won't be disappointed. It's a foodie heaven. Enough. Okay, I've got one last thing to eat. I couldn't resist. It's fruit and I think they put molasses and um, peanuts on there as well. But there's just nowhere to sit and look behind me. Everyone's sitting on the ground. It's just chock-a-block. Like there's absolutely nowhere to sit. So I've had to come like one block back and now I want to eat this. Oh, I can't wait. There's guava in there. There's melons. There's everything. I, I chose everything. You choose your fruits. They pour molasses and peanuts on there and then you eat it. So I've got to find the place to sit and I'm going to start eating. I think this will be the last one for tonight. I think. Nice. It's healthy. I can just keep eating this all night. I'm all night marketed out. I'm done for tonight. It's still too busy in there. This city is the city that doesn't sleep. Kota Kinabalu does not sleep, especially when there's night markets happening. There's still people eating and drinking in there. It's 11, 11.30 now. So I'm done, I'm tired. I can't eat anymore. I need to go and get some sleep. Please like, subscribe and share my videos. I'm doing my best to bring you original content videos that maybe other youtubers haven't shown you or filmed themselves before maybe they have but I'm trying to be creative and get the best for you guys please like share subscribe the videos subscribe to the channel I'm falling asleep I'm so tired and I shall see you all in the next video a big adios from the Hasmeister from Kota Kinabalu the city that never sleeps don't let them tell you otherwise